Hello. Hello, friends. How are you? Hello, friends. God loves you, and so do I. Today's story is from this book, Read Aloud Bible Stories, Volume Two, and that's by Ella K. Lindholm. She's written a lot of these books, and they're really good, good stories for young people. The title of today's story is "The Boy Who Shared His Lunch." All right, let's get ready. I want you to be able to see all these pictures. Up, up, up went Jesus up the big hill. Up, up, up went Jesus's friends up the big hill. big hill went lots of people. Big people, little people, fat people, thin people, sick people, well people, boys and girls too. Wow, that's a lot of people. Even babies. Jesus saw the people coming and he said hello to them. There he is. He made the sick ones better, and then he talked to them about God. Maybe, he said, people, God is kind. He is your friend. I bet he did say that. Jesus talked for a long time, and after a while, the boys and the girls started to get hungry. And the daddies and mommies started to get hungry. I wonder if their tummies started rumbling. Mine does when I get hungry. Jesus' friend said, Soon it will be dark. Tell the people to go and buy something for their dinner. I wonder where they're going to go. They're up on top of the mountain. But Jesus said, you give them something to eat. Do you see how big that word is, you? He's pointing at them saying, you give them something to eat. And look at their faces. They're a little surprised, and I'm probably sure they were wondering, what are we going to do? How are we going to get enough food to feel all these bellies that are empty? Us, said his friends. Do you want us to go and buy food for all these people? It's a lot of people. How much bread is there? Jesus asked. Go and see. His friends looked and they said, a boy here, right here, has five little rolls and two little fish, but that's not enough. Five loaves, two fish. Jesus told them, bring the bread and fish to me. And he asked the little boy, do you think that boy let Jesus have his lunch? When he asked the little boy, could we have your lunch? Do you think that he gave them his lunch? Would you? Would you share your lunch? Well, he did. Yes. All of it. One, two, three, four, five little loaves. and two fish. One, two. Do you think Jesus said thank you? I bet he did. We know he said thank you to God. After that, he broke the bread 
and he made it grow into more bread. And he broke the fish and he made them grow into more fish. So remember he had five loaves of bread and two fish. There's a whole lot more now. Jesus' friends helped and they gave the bread and the fish to everybody. The little boy got some too. Look how happy he is. And then, you can see his happy face. Everybody ate bread and fish till nobody wanted to eat another bite. They were all full. Their bellies weren't empty anymore. They were all full. Not even the little boy. He was done. He was full. Wow. Look how happy he is with his full belly. I'm happy when my belly's full. What did you learn? Jesus made one, two, three, four, five little rolls and one, two fish into enough food for lots of people. Jesus is strong. Jesus is kind. And Jesus is your friend. So Jesus took care of all of those hungry people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. You know what? That's pretty amazing. But the other part of the story that I love is the fact that that little boy, just a little boy, maybe like you, was willing to share his lunch. Would you be willing to share your lunch? Especially when you saw all those people. How was you, your little lunch going to feed all those people? But somehow, Jesus made that work. It's a miracle. Wow. And if he could do that, he can do anything. I'm so glad Jesus is my friend. And yours too. And that he takes care of all of us. Let's say a prayer. Thank you, God, for taking care of us and sending us Jesus. And thank you for this story that teaches us, even if we're small, we can still share and make a big difference. Amen. Well, I hope you're well. And I hope you're getting excited that school's going to start again in some way. Maybe like it was before, sort of, but not quite. Because we still have to be safe. But it'll be, it'll be nice to see our friends. It's good to see each other this way. But it's also fun to actually play and be together. We just have to remember to be safe and take care of ourselves so we can take care of each other. I hope to see you next week. I'm not going to tell you what the story is. It'll be a surprise, but it'll be a good one. And until then, just remember to be kind, share your things, and know that God loves you and takes care of you. And I love you too.